Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly love messages. I don't know why this is so white. I don't know if that made it better or not. <laughs> These will be from the 1st until the 7th, it did make it better, uh, of March 2020. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. That would be impossible, but that's all right. So you've got a couple of options here. You can either hit that notification button and check out one of the other amazing tarot readers here on YouTube, or you can hang around or fast forward until the end where I'm going to do a three card pick a card. That means that you can ask a question on your situation to the universe and select the card that you're most drawn to and get some answers. All right, today we are going to look at your love situation, your person's feelings, your feelings, most likely outcome, romance angel and advice. And we're going to finish, like I said, on the three card pick a card. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me. All of the details are in the description box below. But please, 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 please make sure you read all of the information um, and just so we can get you scheduled as soon as possible. So you're not asking, asking questions that are already answered um, in all of that gaff. Okay, so... Cancer, let's do some reading for you. I'm just deciding what's going to be the most likely outcome deck. I think it's going to be this one, which is weird because this deck specifically wanted to give the outcome for Pisces. I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. All right, let's do this. Love messages, please, for Cancer, 1st to the 7th of March. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very annoying. Let me see if I can fix it. I feel like it's just... Yeah, rubbing on my jumper. Oh, look at this. The two of cups just came out. All right, we're going to stick that back in. Love messages, please. Let's go. Love messages for first to the 7th of March, 2020. Love messages for cancer, please. First to the 7th of March. Don't stress if the two of cups is meant to come out again, it will come out. It's the way it came out. I, and we're starting with this beautiful... Um, star card loving it it was yeah it wasn't coming out as it was supposed to so that's why we put it back all right four more please and anyone who wants to critique that save yourself the trouble all right we've got the knight of pentacles look at that jumper right there we've got the king of wands oh this is opposite energies we've got a very slow stopped energy and a very fast action energy here we have Aquarius on the table as well two more oh look at this okay knight of cups cancer this is a dream come true for you this is a situation that's been stopped yeah there's a lot of people going on here but there this is really strange I don't know why I just got that Okay, this situation is being helped along by your spirit guides. These people are not people in the 3D. Some of them are in the 5D. It's a weird situation for me right now because I'm like, what is happening? Um, okay, so the people in the 3D are these ones. The people in the 5D, I think it is, which are spirit guides, are these ones. So this whole situation is being divinely guided. Something's been held back from you for a reason. Um, this fire energy with the king of swords, sorry, king of wands is being held back and yet the queen of swords is being pushed forward now. So it's like this is all happening in exactly the right amount of time, but it is a wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. Tell me about the star card here, please. Star card. Tell me about the star card. Why is the star card here? Okay, yep. So this is something that involves love where you felt like you missed an opportunity in the past, but it's almost like it was being held back from you for a reason. Um yeah, it wasn't over. It wasn't that this was actually a missed opportunity, but with the world card in reverse, it's a it wasn't ready opportunity. So it was a wish, it was your dream come true. You recognized it, you were right, it just wasn't the right timing, and that's why it's been held back. So it's like this this fire 
person or they might have fire in their chart, they might just be a very fiery individual or they could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they were being held back by the spirit guide. That's like a stop sign here. Let's clarify these energies together. Tell me about this person, please. Tell me about this person that's representing the fire, the king of fire, the king of wands. Yeah, okay. They were they didn't want to get hurt or they were releasing a past heartbreak. Oh, we got two. Wow. Yeah, because they wanted the next time that they offered love for it to actually be a proper success. They didn't want to waste time. They needed they didn't want to get hurt again. They wanted to make sure that they were very very sure. And this is coming from spirit too. They wanted to make sure that this this king of wands didn't get messed around again at, or was not messing anyone else around and was truly ready for the for the connection, for this for this cup of love. Um, and I think that you you're showing up over here. Don't get hung up on the genders. I read the genders as they appear in the cards. Um, but it's almost like you recognize the wish fulfillment. You recognize that you're a pair, but this person wasn't there yet. They weren't ready or it wasn't the right time in their life. And this is why they were kind of held back. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups. Because this Queen of Swords, she was ready for the love. That's what that's what happened here. I've just seen it. So this was being held back as protection. The Queen of Swords and her spirit guide were just like, no, I want to, I'm ready. I can see what this is. I'm ready to offer this cup. Um, it's all here. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups energy, please. Yep. She was ready. She was like, I'm ready to jump in. I'm, I can see. I can see clearly. Clearly. I don't know why I had an American accent then. Very strange. <laughs> it was a bad American accent too. One more, please. Clarify this energy. Uh, but that's who got hurt. So whoever was hurt in this situation and felt like they missed an opportunity, um, it's not done yet. That's why it's showing up. Um because it's not over. Spirits brought out the fact that this is a wish fulfillment and the fact that the world card is in reverse very deliberately to say, hey, I know that you saw this and I know you felt like this was a missed opportunity, but it's not done yet. This person was not ready. They are probably going to come in with a love offer because they can see what this situation um, it can bring. Let's talk about Cancer's thoughts and feelings, please. This is really exciting, Cancer. You've had some good readings lately. It's not to say you haven't been through some crap. Yeah, you're trying to release any negative energy around you at the moment. You're trying to like be totally pure and like I don't need any toxicity. Stay out of my life if you're toxic. Yep. You might actually be trying to go out more and, and um, if you've been locked away, um, yeah, you might be trying to kind of come out of the cold. With a six of pentacles, you're being a lot more kept cautious about where you spend your money or your energy. You may have actually been locked up, not locked up, but, you know, um, unable or like, I, I mean, locked away, like in your house or just not able to kind of socialize or get out there because you were short of money as well. Um, so that's kind of kept you stuck a little bit but I feel like this is actually emotional spending like spiritual spending you're not just giving that to anyone anymore and even in this situation you're like I'm not just gonna let this person walk back in you may be dealing with a Capricorn so on the table so far we have Aquarius we have fire signs we have um, air signs Capricorn and that's it. But it can be any sign. Let's talk about Cancer's thoughts, uh, person's thoughts and feelings, please. Tell me about Cancer's person's thoughts and feelings. I'll take four. Oh, yeah, they're ready to communicate their feelings. Moon card in reverse. Could be a Pisces. But they are ready. Yep. Oh, my Lord. Hello. 
They are ready. They are ready to communicate and talk about their feelings. They're ready to let all of this emotion that they've had to keep hidden inside because they are ready for the Ten of Cups that they were not ready for when you first came around. Two more, please. Cancer's thoughts and feelings. Can sorry, Cancer's person's thoughts and feelings. Sorry, Cancer's person's thoughts and feelings. Yeah, but they, mm, they're scared. They kind of feel like, eh, I want to do this. I want to tell my cancer how I feel. Yep. I think they're afraid of rejection. They feel trapped somehow. Um, and they're kind of trapped by this sadness and regret. Um, they may not be sure that you will offer them a second chance here, cancer. But they have stuff to confess. Like they have stuff to tell you. They have stuff to confess, um, and it's all about you know the ten of cups. Look at these people. They're like looking directly up at these, these two, going, "Oh my god, this is what I want." Um, so yeah, all right. Most likely outcome, please, for cancer. Most likely outcome for cancer. Okay. Yeah. There are still some burdens to bear, Cancer. It's not, not going to be smooth sailing just yet. Oh, look at that. Look at this star card showing up again. Wow. You wouldn't read about it, right? Most likely outcome. Yep. This Knight of Wands. They haven't quite reached the king status. Still not over. <laughs> All right. One more. I'm being told two more. Two more then, please. I don't know why it's giving it to me in sets. Wow. Okay. Whew. Most likely outcome. All right. What have we got here? We've got the Ten of Wands and the Star card. So these two are very much connected. It's almost like they've all come out in twos, which is kind of weird. Um there is still the burden uh, that, that is hanging around of, you know, this wish fulfillment, the fact that this is, um, you know, a very special connection. It's not, it's not like it's just magically going to turn into something really easy and um, all the problems are going to go away. So even though it is a wish fulfillment, there is still going to be, you know, things that need to be processed, baggage that's being carried that will need to be dealt with. There is an element of in and out energy from this person in the near future or in the in the most likely outcome as they find their stability. But even though they're a little bit, yeah, one foot in, one foot out, a little bit, I feel like they're a bit timid or tentative to walk towards you. It doesn't mean that things are over. This world card is coming out twice and the star card is coming out twice. Like I'm no experts with, you know, odds and things like that, but you guys can calculate the, you know, the, the probabilities and things like that. Um, really highlighting that this is some sort of divine connection. This is, you know, it's not, it's not done. There will be some instability. There'll be some issues, but it's not finished. It's not. I feel like this is a forever connection for personally. Um, you will just need to uh, let your guard down and kind of go with the flow. Um, and I see that that's what you're going to do. I think you're just going to be like, you know what? I can't control this situation. I'm just going to have to go with it and have fun. But with this three of um, cups here, it is a joyful, happy outcome. You might be meeting up for a date. Um, you might be meeting up for some drinks, dinner, something like that. But you're coming together for a joyful, happy occasion. And that's where it ends. So it will get there. You will get the happiness that you're seeking here, Cancer. All right, let's go with advice, please. Advice for Cancer in this situation. That is the most annoying sound in my ears. Okay, oops, oops, I'm trying not to break the speaker. All right, hopefully you can still hear me okay. All right, advice for cancer, please. Oh, okay, two more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, cancer, you'll need to control things. Yeah. 
If you try and control this too tightly or try and set too many boundaries or rules or anything else, you're just going to end up being sad. Um, you need to, again, you need to go with a flow. That's what it's saying here. Like there's this go with the flow element. Just let divine take care of it. Okay. Don't, don't, um, don't try and see, this is the sword. It's like, stop trying to stick your sword in where it's not wanted. Let the universe take over. <laughs> That's kind of what they're saying over here. Um, don't. Just don't be so cutting with your sword, Cancer, which I would say that most Cancers are probably not like that, but I think you've kind of, you're a bit fed up is what I'm feeling and it's not, it's, it, you've still got some work to do. So buckle in for that fed upness because it's not over yet. Sorry, Cancer, <laughs> I hate to say. I want to say that it's going to be amazing, but there's, it's going to be a bumpy road. It, it's going to be a bumpy road, but it's going to be worth it, okay, um, because you've got two star cards You've got two World in Reverse cards and you've got this beautiful, um, you know, three of cups. Um, this is all happening in exactly the way it's meant to, which is why you've got this guidance coming through from spirit, spirit guides coming through. Romance Angel advice, please. You deserve love. That's what it says, Cancer. You do deserve love and this is going to be true love. Um, I know that it d might not feel that way right this second, but it absolutely is. Um, and you just need to kind of take your hands off the wheel and let the universe do its job. Let spirit do its job. Um, and just kind of go with it. Go with the flow here, Cancer. You're going to have to go with the flow here and trust. That's what, that's what has to happen. All right. Don't forget, if you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me using the information in the description box below. I will be doing a three card pick a card now so think of a question you would like answered doesn't need to be in relation to this reading i'm going to select three cards whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question card number one please card number two and every time every single time i fix my microphone it just comes undone i'm very sorry let me just see if i can there we go. It's this jumper. It doesn't like this jumper. And card number three, please. Jumper, hoodie. What do you guys call them? Sweaters. What do you call like a sweater or a jumper in your country or your culture? That's what I want to know in the comments. What do you call them? Um, we call them jumpers or hoodies here in Australia. Um, but yeah, that was a crap story. Let's get on with the uh, reading, yeah? <laughs> okay. If you were most drawn to card number one while thinking of your question, your answer is within the next few weeks, you will get some movement or a resolution um, in the next few weeks. So look forward to that. If you are most drawn to card number two, your answer is there will be a peaceful resolution probably in your favor. Generally, this means it will go your way. Um, so definitely something to look forward to. Whatever you're asking about, it will end up um, resolving. It will be in a peaceful manner and it's probably in your favor. So hang in there. If you're most drawn to card number three, your answer is meditation brings answers. This is my favorite card in all of this deck because it's kind of, it's something I discovered before it, I was told by Tarot. <laughs> it was just one of those things where you just have a knowing about how the universe works. And this was one of them. Meditation clears your mind and it allows all of the answers that you already have inside of you that you've you've gathered from you know subconsciously and body language and all these little things that we don't process on a conscious level help us actually have have a full answer profile inside of us meditation allows all of those little knowledge bubbles to come to the surface of our consciousness so that is why when you're confused or if you've lost something or you know you don't have your mind is a bit of a mess meditation is so so powerful in helping us sort some of those things out if you need to make a big decision meditation is one of the best ways to do that um, if you're conflicted so meditation is going to bring you the answers that you really need to hear maybe not the answers you want to hear but the answers you need to hear um, for your situation so get on to that all right cancer don't forget to like and comment i read all of the comments i love hearing your stories i, I tell me about the jumpers i want to know about the jumpers um and 
I, res I respond to as many as I can. Don't forget if you need a personal reading, all of the info is down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys uh, in about a week. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.